Okay, as you can see, I've filled those out there, and I've got them as formulas. I'm going to go show formulas. Oh, that makes it a lot bigger. But you can see there that I've got formulas in for all of those. And we're using the same process where we're dividing by 11 and locking those in to copy and paste them across, save us time. We didn't have any asset sales in this one, but if we had a line for asset sales, we would have needed to put that, that a formula in there as well. Awesome. So now we're on to the last step, which is putting in formulas for the cash budget. So we'll start by putting in our name. And our month. Now cash sales will grab straight from our input assumptions. So the cash sales. And that one we should be able to just copy straight across. And it'll pop those in. So it'll reference them in a column. Credit purchases. Oops. Credit purchases. We'll grab that straight from our accounts receivable. So that's that one. Oh dear. Pressing the wrong button. <clears throat> so we'll grab that 87,000. And the same thing, we can just drag that straight across. GST reclaimable. We will take from this guy and drag across. Now we didn't have any interest revenue in this question, so we'll just update that one with rent received, which is our any other cash receipts. And that one we'll take straight from our input tab because we don't need to do any changes to that one. And then just to make it Nice and neat, we'll delete those unused ones. Cash purchases, same sort of process. We'll, oops, we'll take those straight from our input tab and drag it across. Accounts payable, we'll take from that statement, as you have been doing in the ones you guys have been doing with less automation. GST payable will come from the GST tab. That one. And drag across. So you can see that once you've set this up once, it saves you a lot of time in putting any of the data. You just put it into the one tab, into that input one. So wages and salaries we'll grab as well for September across, drag it across to November. Okay, so now these ones were just generic ones that I put in there. So we only had operating expenses, and we need to remember to take off that depreciation because that's a non-cash item, and this is our cash budget. So we'll go operating expenses for September is 11,400 minus that 400 depreciation amount. Enter, and that should work as well where we just take it all the way across. The final thing we'll need to put in there as a purchase will be those buildings. That's the last one. Yep, buildings. So they'll go in for October and November. Equals. Oops. And really, we should drag it this way in case anything cropped up where we'd missed an asset there for September as well. <clears throat> and again, to make it neat, we'll just delete those out. So you just right click and delete. Okay, so now we can sum those up and finish with our cash position. And drag those guys across. You might like the bulk them if you want. And then onto our cash position. So we'll take our opening balance from our input page down here where we've got bank balance 5000. Then our receipts less payments. And we'll drag that formula across because it's the same for all of them. And we'll 
have our opening balance plus our receipts left payments in the bottom and we can drag that across as well and this top formula will just equal our closing from the previous month so we'll drag that over as well for this one and that's it all done all finished so if I show you these formulas they're sort of cutting them off but I'll also give you an actual copy of this spreadsheet um, which will help you to work through it as well. Awesome, I think that's all I had. Get this there. So if I make any changes in here, it'll flow straight through into those other statements in the cash budget. Awesome. Done.